In this video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, using CorelDRAW to resize or to at least verify uh, the size of our holes for cutting out our rhinestone designs. So here we have our baseball heart collection open, and we're just going to start with one of our designs here. And we're going to right click and make sure that this design is ungrouped. And we're just going to select one of the hole sizes here. And you can see that right now it says it's 0.122. If we switch over to millimeters here in CorelDRAW, then you can see it's 3.1 millimeters. So the way to resize this hole to what size we want is to simply select one hole. And let's say I cut my templates at 3.3 millimeters. So we go ahead and resize this. And if you look right here, it says that now it is 106.5 so that's the, the amount that we scaled that particular circle so if I wanted all my circles to be 3.3 millimeters I would just select my entire design and go ahead and resize it 106 106.5 okay and so now any circle that I select on 3.3 millimeters, 3.3, 3.3. Now it may be off just by a fraction of a millimeter. That's just because of the mathematical rounding. But that's really all there is to it. So these holes will cut out perfectly now. Now this particular design has more than one hole size. So you also have these smaller holes. Okay, now these are cut at two point, almost 2.8. So what, what would you do if you had a situation where you wanted to change just those holes but you don't want to have to search the whole design and this is really where easy stone might come into play here because we could take one of the smaller stones come over to our selections tab and mark that stone and then I could just go ahead and select just this part of the design and say select all stones that match that size and we could even give it within a tolerance so within say 0.3 of a millimeter and when I choose create selection it would select all stones that match that criteria and you could see right here we only have a few stones that match that criteria now once we have those stones selected we can then switch back over to our stone tab and we can change those stones to whatever we want so let's say for example we still have those stones selected let's say I want to cut those stones at 2.4 millimeters well once we have that option at 2.4 we choose this resize replace function and it will go ahead and resize those stones to the exact size we want. Now when we select those stones, you can see every one of those stones is 2.4 millimeters. So on a simple design like this, it's pretty straightforward to do, but on a more complex design where we have lots and lots of varying size stones, having that ability to, to isolate just the stones that we want to manipulate uh, will be a huge advantage that Easy Stone provides. So that's pretty much it. That's all there really is to it. Just to give you another example of making selections with easy stones, what if I have a design like this? Now all these objects have an outline, and typically when we send objects to the cutter, we would select all those objects. And again, I'm in here in CorelDRAW, so I'll right-click on this little square down here in the bottom left-hand corner, right-click, and that will remove any existing outline. So now I want to select just the stitches, just those red stones. So I'm going to just select one, come over to my Selections tab and choose Mark Selection. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the entire design and say, pick out the stones that match that fill color. And we'll go ahead and choose the Create Selection. And now we have just those stones selected. You can see I have just those stones isolated. And then from there, again, I can go ahead and choose the sizing if I want to by choosing the Stone tab and choosing the Resize Replace. And now those stones will actually be SS6 stones instead of all the rest of the stones being SS10. So lots of flexibility there in manipulating uh, how that works. I do want to show you maybe one other thing that's quite common uh, in regards to working with designs and that is what if I want to select say an outline. Maybe I want to take the outline of this heart and make it a different uh, color. Well we have a function in here under the selections tab it's called select by outline and what we can do here is grab our pen tool and I'm just gonna grab and I'm just gonna make you see what I'm doing here I'm just using 
the snap to function here inside CorelDRAW to go around and just draw a line from stone to stone here and what we're doing is just kind of creating an outline because make, making a selection of all these stones any other way is just a lot more difficult so now that we have something to go by we can choose on our selections tab we can choose the uh, mark for object and then again I can select all the objects and say I want to take any objects that are on the marked outline and select them and you can see now just the outline stones that we have selected and now I can manipulate those so let's say back over here on the stone tab I'm gonna to change to lights I am and I'm gonna choose this rename and fill and now you can see all those stones have now changed color and then I can just come in here and I can go ahead and delete that path that I created and very easily isolate just those stones and we're ready to go so lots of options there with easy stone but certainly you don't have to have easy stone to use our pre-designed templates as well thanks for watching